Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-50 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the winch cable on a tow truck is subjected to a force of 6 kN when the cable is directed at the angle of 60 degrees. We have to determine the magnitude of the total brake frictional force F for the rear set of wheels B and the total normal forces at both front wheels A and both rear wheels B for equilibrium. The truck has a total mass of 4 megagrams and mass center at G. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to mark all the forces. So we have the normal forces at points A and B. This is the normal force at point A. Let me just still, yeah, that's fine. And this is the normal force at point B. Let's call this RA and this is RB. We have a weight which is acting through the point G, the center of mass. And the mass is equals to 4 exponent 6 grams. It means it is equals to 4 exponent. 3 kilograms. So the W would be 4 exponent 3 into 9.81. So that would be 39240 newtons. Also, we have one tensile force due to the cable acting at an angle of theta that is 60 degrees. We have a frictional force at the rear set of wheels B as well. Alright, now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have the normal reaction at points A and B. minus the weight W and if I break this tensile force into its component, let me break it, then it has one component in the negative y direction and one component along the positive x direction. This right here is T cos theta and this comp the horizontal component is T sin theta. So here we have negative t cos theta as well equals to 0. Now we can substitute some of the values. So our equation becomes Ra plus Rb equals to the weight that is 39240 newtons plus the t cos theta that is t6000 and cos 60 degrees. So Ra plus Rb becomes 42240. So this is our first equation. Now we have two unknowns and one equation. So we need at least another equation to find the values of Ra and Rb. Our second equilibrium equation would be summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have T sin theta minus this frictional force F that is acting in the opposite direction of T sin theta equals to 0. So from here F is equals to T sin theta which in turns is equals to 6000 sin 60. So from here F comes out to be 5196.15 newtons. So this is our first answer. Now we can apply another equation that is summation of moments 
equals to zero. So our third equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to zero. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. So at point A, we have the normal reaction that is passing through point A. So it will not make any moment around the point A because it is passing through it. The weight force is acting downwards and it is trying to rotate the drug in clockwise direction around the point A. So the moment produced by the weight force would be taken as negative. So negative W and the moment arm is 2 meters. The normal reaction RB is trying to rotate the truck in counterclockwise direction around the point A. So the moment produced by the RB force would be taken as positive. And the moment arm is 2 plus this 2.5 meters that is basically 4.5 meters. The frictional force F is passing through point A. So it will also will not produce any moment about point A. If you look closely, the point A is this point. The contact between the tire and the road basically. So the frictional force, the line of action of frictional force is also passing through the point A. That's why the frictional force will not produce any moment about the point A. Now we have the tension force due to the cable. So this vertical component is trying to rotate the truck in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment would be taken as negative. And the moment arm is 2 plus 2.5 plus 1.5 meters. So it means 6 meters. Now if I uh, shift the horizontal component of tensile force to the base of the original vector. Then it would become, this is also T sin theta. And I can now remove it, the previous drawn component. Yes. So this T sin theta force component is also trying to rotate the truck in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this T sin theta force would be taken as negative. And the moment arm is at this perpendicular distance, that is 3 meters, equals to 0. Now we have to substitute the values. So the weight force is 39240 newtons into 2 plus RB 4.5 minus 6000 cos 60 into 6 minus again 6000 sin 60 into 3 equals to 0. Upon simplification, the normal reaction at point B comes out to be 2490 4.1 newtons. So this is our second answer. Now I can substitute this value of RB into equation 1 to calculate the value of RA. So from equation 1, RA is equals to 422.40 minus RB that is 2490.4.1. So from here, RA comes out to be 1733.5.9 Newtons. So this is our third answer. So to summarize, the frictional force is 5196.15 Newtons, or you can also write it as 5.2 kN. The normal reaction at point A is 17,335.9 newtons, or you can also write it as 
17.3 kilonewtons. The normal reaction at point B is equals to 24,904.1 newtons, or you can also write it as 24.9 kilonewtons. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubts about this problem or any of my previous problems, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.